In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add HD admin commands to your game. Now, HD admin uh, is a model and it allows you to execute a wide range of commands within your game, uh, which unlocks a variety of new features and even enables you to earn Robux with minimal setup and difficulty. So, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to want to do to get HD Admin is you want to take the model. Now, I'm going to leave a link to this model in the description, so go ahead and click on the link and then you'll be taken to this page. All you need to do is click on Get and then Get Now and the uh, model will be added to your inventory. So next, you're going to want to open up Roblox Studio so we can add this into your game. So go ahead and open it up. Once your game is open up, we're going to go to the toolbox, then under models, we're going to click on my models and the admin commands should be there. So just click on them to add them to your game. And in the explorer panel, which you can open up by going to view explorer, you'll see that we've got this folder called HD admin. Okay. And if we go into this folder here, you can see we've got uh, a few items in here. Now we're going to be focusing on the uh, settings module and you've also got a folder here called custom features. Now we'll be going over uh, these in more detail in the next videos, but the settings module is where you can personalize the admin system for your own needs. So for example, giving specific ranks to players, uh, linking Roblox groups to the admin uh, and also things like setting up game passes and um, which as I said we will be going over in future videos so all that we're going to do for now is we're going to just publish the game so I'm going to click on file and I'm going to go publish to Roblox as and I'm just going to publish this to a game which I've already created uh, if you want to publish it to a new game of course you can do that as well so I'm going to go ahead and uh, publish this then I'm going to copy the link to the game and we're going to head in and check it out. Okay, so we're in the game and you can see in the bottom right corner, uh, a notification has popped up saying your rank is owner, click to view the commands. So you don't need to worry about adding yourself into the admin uh, because it is automatically going to give you the owner rank as I own the game or you. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to have a look around the HD admin uh, and show you what you can do with it. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to open up the main menu and to do this, you can click on the HD logo in the top left of the screen and this brings up the the panel okay and we have got uh, five different sections the about section command section special admin and settings in about you can take the model if you haven't already and you can also get in contact with the team that made this admin command system uh, through their social media channels in the command section you can view a list of all available commands that you can use now you'll see that the commands here are grouped to uh, different ranks so we've got non-admin vip etc and the commands they become more abusive as you go down the list so for example um, a vip wouldn't be able to do too much damage but if we look at say uh, like an owner they can do things such as crash the server shut it down etc so if you want to find out some more information about a command you can either search it or find it in the list so i'm just going to have a look at the kill command so i'm just going to search that and if we click it uh, you'll see that it gives us some information about that command to execute a command just say the prefix which is by default set to a semicolon and then you just want to write the name of the command so in this case we're going to do jump which will make my player jump up into the air and then you want to uh, write the player who you want this command to be performed on. So if you want to do it to yourself, just write me, and that will make yourself jump. But if you want to do it to another player, you could say jump and then their name. So in this case, Alvin underscore blocks. And that will do the same, but you can choose who to do it to. But you don't have to enter the full name of a player. So for example, you could just say jump Al. And that will do the same as long as, you know, there's not a more than one player who has the same prefix in their name. So if you had Alvin1 and Alvin2 and you said jump out, you need to make sure that you know who you want to do it to. You don't need to worry about cases either. So you could do it in, in uppercase or lowercase. Let's just show you this. You could say jump in up and down 
and then you can write their name as well like that and it does the same as well as this you can also run multiple commands at once so we can say sparkles me fire me and explode me and that will run all three commands at the same time so we've got aliases which are other words which you can use instead of saying kill but it will still execute the same command so i could say die me instead of kill me uh, the description obviously tells you more about the command the rank is the required rank uh, needed to execute this command so in order to kill someone you need to be a mod or higher and we've also got the uh, loop here so if a command is a loopable so we can run it over and over again now, if i wanted to kill myself uh, multiple times just loop it indefinitely i could say uh, my prefix which is a semicolon and then kill but instead of just saying kill, I'm going to add loop before it. So we're going to say loop, kill, and then the name of the player that you want to loop kill. So in this case, that's going to be uh, me. Okay. Oh. And that will just uh, start killing me over and over again until I break the loop. And to break oh. the loop, you can say uh, refresh and then the player that you want to break the loop oh. on. Okay. So we can just say refresh me. And that will just stop the loop. Um, from killing me okay so that is looping a command if you want to loop it uh, for a set number of iterations so say 10 times you can do the same thing so let's say loop kill me five okay and that's just gonna kill me five times in a row okay so i'm just gonna refresh myself again to break that loop and if you'd like to undo a command that's pretty simple as well for example if we go ahead and do fire to give ourselves uh, some fire you can see that if i wanted to undo that and get rid of the fire i can just say unfire me and there you go, the fire has been removed from my character. That is the end of part one in this series and how to set up HD admin. Now, if you're interested in how to set up ranks for other players in your game, then you're going to want to go to part two and the link to that video is on your screen now. Just go ahead and click the thumbnail. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next part.